Hi everyone! Welcome to the Blair House Boys. I'm with, as always, Harold. Jump one. <laughs> We're going to be using the cars today, aren't we, Harold? Oh, I am. Let's take. No, I'm going to take the valve because it's a bit like nice from the tow bar. Actually, no, I'm going to take the valve. The tow bar? Oh, you have to tow yours back. I've got to put one on the trailer, yeah. Yeah, you've got to put on the trailer. Yeah, and it doesn't run very well either. Just... Um... Right, what do I need? Uh, tool box. Uh, jump pack. Uh, oh. Jerry can. Get a quick touch to work. Yes, I can. Okay, so I've just called the railway guys and they said that okay, we're allowed to drive the railways. Okay, I was going to go through his failed gate. Oh, they said it's uh, not locked. They said it's, they said it's locked. Okay, so we're going to have to start the railway line. Alright. Alright, you can come in. I'm coming down here. Oh, you just left the old one. Yeah, just left. I'm waiting at the entrance of the shop. Just arrange the dose to get a lorry. You stopped? Yes, I did. What trail is it? Yeah, I got the air burst. Got the robust trailer. We're going to pop in at those on the way. On the way back and get this, get them to just do the engine of this thing. Oh yeah. Mine doesn't have a front picture. That looks like a picture. Ah, that's a I'm gonna have to pull him behind your truck for a second, it's got back in. I've got back right up to it. So I've got to push it on. Okay, so the tractor stops. Oh. Right, my trailer's being irritated with the with the truck, and it won't let me detach it with the quick attach. It won't let me detach it unless I fold the ramps up, and I need to push the tractor onto the trailer. Can you get your lorry and give me a put and push the tractor on, basically? Oh my gosh! 
and he pushed the tractor onto my trailer. Oh, that's a bloody big trailer. Pretty big. Oh, that's a beehive, that's what it is. Right. Just come up to the front of it. I'm gonna see if I can straighten the wheel there. There we go. Right, wheels are straight. Just gentle, gently. Okay, a bit more. Uh, see if it's got a little hydraulic oil in there. Oh, okay, that's the, that's the rear. Do I have to do that? Let's just see. Ah, there we go. Okay, push. Gently. Um, I'm gonna get the pickup and swing the trailer around a bit. Oh, it's got it. No, it's not on straight. I need a... No, I know, but I need it on straight. Go forwards. Forwards. Yeah, forwards. I'm up against your trailer now. Stop. Stop. Okay, I'm waiting here. Push it, push it on a bit. That's the one. Just get it straightened up, and then you can just shove it the rest of the way on. Yeah, I'll pull it out of the way. It's all enough now that I can at least move with it. I am literally ripping up this field. I'd say we should get this field at some point. This is quite a, a nice one. Might be a nice one to clear out. Get this field. Might be a nice one to clear out. All right, just come in, get it. Okay, go. That's the one, like that. Uh, I'm just gonna drop this. The last oil bleeding out of the cylinders. Just doing a ramp things. Yeah. There we go. Bomb finds are loaded. This is my new project. That's Harry's as well. It's my new front track. Yeah, that kind of project as well. Well, I have I to say, I don't trust it, so I'm going to... I'll go first, I'll fill out the front Yeah, do what I did, drive right down that side. So I'm going to stall a couple of times coming home. <coughs> yep, stall again. Hmm. Means they're going to be even more annoyed with the scratches. What? Means they're going to be even more annoyed with the scratches on it. Most of it, while we have it, nothing else to use it for. Well, yeah, but if there was anything else we needed, it for. To be fair, this tractor is so old, the tyres have grown mould, so, yeah, it didn't well, like being moved. I've got my own money bank for the business now. Huh? I've got my own money bank for the Oh, the biz, 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 yeah, biz, biz. I've, um, yeah, this tractor hasn't moved, he says in about 50 to 60 years. 
Well, that's what he said. I don't believe him, but it it seems about rusty enough. I'm just about pulling the farm. Have we got the tow bar? Uh, Can you go grab all from those just to get this thing off the trailer? And we'll probably keep it anyway. Uh, yeah. Run, Boris, run. Right, I'm going to take it off. Do I need to go fast enough to break the speaker? Hmm, depends. Is it that important? No. Okay. So I what we'll do... Like right, mate, what I'm going to need you to do is, um, get the Valmet... I've got to stay. Get the Valmet and lift the front loader up on this thing. And then we can slide the um, bail or the tow bar in. Oh, oh yeah, it's going to come up. My truck just stopped for no reason, but it didn't stop. Huh. Huh. Uh, so yeah. It's yeah, like a custom build. This is one of his bail movers he makes, I think. It's on the back of it. I think he got something. Huh? Do you have two tow bars because they're not too expensive? Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, you've got the, the same kind of bail mover, just mine's older. Yeah. Mine is like way older. What? Huh? Because you're a Hmm? Did you say Dolga? I said mine is way older. This is another 644, but this one has the Agna front three point, or front three point on this one. And it's got the four wheel drive, and it's got huge tyres on it. It really has huge tyres? It's got what, like, he said it had wider than original tyres, and I can see what he means. The back ones stick out about 30 centimetres from the rear one, from the front ones. Well, they stick out quite a bit. Um, it, ha it has extended mud guards, and the tyres stick out from those, so I think it is pretty, pretty big tyres on it. It's got a stall loader on, which is not one I've seen before. But it has the cap. Oh, be quite Trail boards on it. What's the date on these? What? It's got trail board tyres on it. Like okay. nice ones, and they've got all of their tread. Mine has a trail board. Mine have most of. Mine has all. Mine have all the tread until like the patch it's sitting on. Which oh, is where it's it, where it's sat. Yeah, it's sat for so many years. Oh, what's that? Oh, bird's nest. Don't need that. See what else we got on this thing? Well, it's got CB radio. That's quite cool. I doubt it works, but this is my new restoration project. Bucket's got a couple of holes here. And this bail mover thing looks like it's quite cool. Could use it. 
Zion the promise. Right? Well, let me get that bow now. Why did you just say we have needed to move up to the front? No. That's surprising. Oh, there you are. Right, what am I going to need to do? Is I'm actually going to need you to get the valve in, mate. Why? Um, because I need you to help me pick the front loader up on this international. Yes, Because I need you to lift it up while I pull back on the lever, because it's got a lock. If you leave the lever like in the neutral position on the hydraulics, it locks them. I need to pull it back to disengage the lock and I need you to lift it up. Yeah, Oh, the tyres are definitely sensitive. You can take that thing and go get it. Yeah. Do you know this trailer came with bees in it? <laughs> well, there's bees flying out of it. Oh, I just got stung. I just went near it to have a look at it and I got stung. He's flying out of it. But up here, it's got a hydraulic ladder. Yeah, the ladder folds down when you stop, it would appear. There is bees coming out of it. I think what happens is, when the trainer is disconnected from a machine, like the doors open on the hives and that. Because literally, just as you disconnected the quick attach, like the doors opened, a lot of bees came flying out. You gonna pop that trailer like somewhere in the field then? Just let the bees fly. Yeah, some places have bees not. Yeah. Find them somewhere with like I'd suggest park it at the side of the wheat field. On the grass. Look, I know how this is gonna go, so I've got a bar on the front and I've got a bar on the back. Oh so, no. Well, Go oh, easy on it. Where are you? Walking down and see how you're doing. I'm moving the other side of the farm. Oh, I am? Oh. Spray! You doing wheelies? No. <laughs> I think it's weight might be a little bit too heavy for this thing. Look. Probably. Really? But no, no, no. <laughs> Jesus. Um, that's a bit heavy. Yeah, 
to just raise the loader as I raise the wall without it. Pull back on the lever. Ready? Go. Go up. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Nice. J. There you go. Just let it. There you go. It's up now. Take the um, bar off and just put it in front of the tractor because when you try and reverse with it, it'll just die. Don't forget old elves. The game doesn't like it. Don't worry. Oh. Right, we're back up on there and grab that. What? Wow. Right, pull this thing off the trailer. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say I thought that thing didn't run very very well, but I guess I guess it does. Oh, this thing it runs fine. Back up a bit. Can you connect it? Oh, yeah. Okay, just go gentle with that. Keep going, go on. Where am I taking this? Just pull it off the trailer. I'll fit it with it in a minute. Oh. Oh, yeah. Right, um, just let me jump in it, I'll pull the lever back. Is that better? Will that go up any further? Is that as far as I can? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I need to put you into your watch. Yeah, if you can put it around that way, that'd be brilliant. If I steer. Steer? Yeah, I can steer it. Pull it around. Yeah, go that way. Just go straight. Pull it under that shed. Pull it under here. There's good. Whoa. Just leave it there. Leave it there. I know. Mind the cray when you go in. Didn't notice that. Go on then. I'm gonna jump in it and steer it. Go on back. Did it lock the brakes? Yes. Oh, it's got one of those stupid seat lock things. Yeah, all the time. Go on then. Back you go. Then you might lower the Yeah, I will actually. I'll let that bleed down. Oh, bucket, yep, yeah, got it. Dump it in the middle of the yard, I'll faff around with it in a minute. No, you won't be able to start it, we want to keep that on top of it. You can't pull through the shed, Harry. Why? Because there's the crane. 
rocks it into it. Just put it in there, yeah. Just dump it there. Stick it there. There you go. Put this bucket down. Twenty-five minutes right now, mate. What? On twenty-five minutes of the video, I'm gonna stop it. Right then. Thank you all very much for watching me and uh, ta-da! Mate, can you see the bees coming out of it as well? well give me a minute. Can't see them in the shoe. Come have a look. I will do. I need to come out there anyway. See ya.